Circuit boards use transmission lines to carry high-frequency signals. Often, these are 50-ohm impedance microstrip lines, which are a signal conductor of a certain width above a reference polygon. In addition to microstrip lines, coplanar transmission lines with a ground reference polygon are often found on circuit boards. To reduce interference and crosstalk to adjacent traces, ground polygons are often stitched with vias. Coplanar transmission lines propagate the same wave type as microstrip transmission lines. The electromagnetic field is more concentrated near the conductor, so coplanar lines have lower losses at high frequencies, less dispersion, and less interference to adjacent circuits. Also, you will notice that many high frequency components have convenient pinout configurations for connecting coplanar transmission lines. Coplanar transmission lines are also convenient to use instead of microstrip lines on boards with large dielectric thicknesses. For example, on a standard two layer board with a dielectric thickness of approximately 1.5 millimeters, the width of the microstrip transmission line should be about 2.9 millimeters to provide an impedance of 50 ohms. This can make it difficult to connect such a wide line to components. When replacing the microstrip with a coplanar transmission line and setting the required gap to the polygons, you can see that the line width required to ensure an impedance of 50 ohms will be significantly lower. Thus, using a coplanar line, you can get the optimal conductor width for connecting to components. The next step in creating a coplanar line on a circuit board is to add ground polygons with a specific clearance as well as stitching them with vias. An easy and quick way to create this is to use a special tool in Altium Designer. Before that, you need to select the nets you want to shield, and then run the Add Shielding to Net command from the Tools menu. Check the Selected Objects checkbox, set the gap to the conductor, the pitch between vias, and the number of rows. Also check the box to add a special cutout that automatically applies a gap. The size of the vias can be adjusted, and the vias are assigned to a net. Click OK, and the vias and special cutouts for polygons are automatically added to the nets. Finally, the area is filled with polygon pour to create a coplanar transmission line with ground reference and shielding vias.